Praise the Lord, everyone. Come on, give God another praise. Come on, do it better than that. Give him another praise. Come on, if you know that he's good, then give him another praise. Come on, if you know that he's worthy, then give him another praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord. We are glad to be in God's service. 
one more time. He didn't have to make me live, but I'm glad to be in God's service one more time. Clap your hands and give the Lord another praise. Come on, do it better than that. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me greet everyone. Amen. To our presiding bishop, our mother Ferrin, Bishop Cumry, and all of the ministers on the form, and to all of the ministers and the saints in the pew. Let me greet the household of faith in the name of Jesus. Let me greet the household of faith in the name of Jesus. There is no other name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. We're not going to have a devotional because we didn't close this morning service. Amen. We continued. So we're going to continue. Amen. On. Amen. Tonight. But there's a, a hymn. Amen. That's been laid on my heart. Amen. And we're just going to sing, sing it and then we're going to go further in our service. Amen. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me, leads me safely through the sinking sand. It is the Christ of this would be my prayer, dear Lord, each day to help me do the best I can. For I need thy light to guide me day and night. Blessed, hold my hand. Amen. Let us stand, everybody. For those that have the black church hymnals, it's number 31. Amen. But I'm sure they will put it on the screen. God bless you. Amen. Let us stand, everyone. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Leads me safely to the sea. It's and it is the price. Of Calvary, this would be my pet, the Lord, he day to help me do the best I can. For oh, I need thy light to guide me day and night, fresh and cheap, just hold my Hold my hand, oh Lord, I need thee every year. Go through this land, this pilgrim land. Go take me by the path. Go hear my plea, my feeble plea. Oh, oh, dear Lord, look down on me. For when I kneel in prayer, I hope to meet you there. Blessed Jesus, oh, Let me travel in the light divine that I may see. The blessed way. Keep me that I may be bold. Be thine and sing redeem. Some song, some day. Oh, I will be a soldier brave and true and never firm. Be taped. A sign for as I on the go and daily meet the foe, they said, Jesus, oh, my hand, oh, they said, Jesus, hold my hand, oh, Lord, I need the every hour. Go to this land, this pilgrim land. Go to take me by thy path. Oh, hear my plea, my feeble plea. 
Oh, oh, the Lord, look down on me. For when I kneel in prayer, I hope to be to there. There's a Jesus By a crowd of life have won. I have put my faith in thee, dear Lord, and I believe the gold and strap. There's no other faith on whom I can be paid. There's a key. Said Jesus, hold my hand. Oh Lord, I need you to be your. Go to this land, this pilgrim land. Oh, go to. Oh Lord, I need a prayer. Oh, to this land, this pilgrim land, to take me back home. Oh, hear my plea, my feeble plea. Oh, hold your Lord. Out on me. So when I kneel in prayer, I hope to be to there. Let's a Jesus hold my hand. Let's a Jesus hold my hand. Oh Lord, I need you. Yeah, we are. Oh, to this land.
Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. How many of us in here need Jesus to hold our hand? Come on, how many of us in here need Jesus to hold our hand? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Praise God. Let us receive convocation greetings from our minister, Ruth Street. In Jesus' name. Two minutes, amen. Convocation greetings. Following her will be our Reverend Briscoe. And following Reverend Briscoe will be our Minister Jordan Edwards. Please receive them in that order. In Jesus' name. Bishop and First Lady, Bishop Cymru and First Lady, ministers, brethren, friends, children, converts, everyone. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I was just enjoying the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to outdo David. What about you? Hallelujah. Hey, glory be to God. Hallelujah. And it's not a body thing, it's a heart thing. Hallelujah. If I could only tell it as I know it. Hallelujah. I'm sure that you would make him yours today. Glory be to God. This is my first convention with firstborn. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I thank the Lord for opening up the lockdown just for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That I could enjoy this wonderful spiritual food and physical food. Thank you so much, Bishop Cymru and all the kitchen staff. Hallelujah. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. Reverend, on our first session here, we had a wonderful teaching the Passover lamb and leaving Egypt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had to go up to my teacher afterwards and shake her hand 
because my background is Christian education. But when I hear her put it out, glory be to God, about the feast, amen? Hallelujah. If you missed it, you missed something. But I tell you, it was so wonderful. I can only tell you, beloved brethren, that I was saved from I was 12 years old. And he's still keeping me. Hey! Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I love this verse of scripture that declares, For God so loved. Right there. Because God so loved. Hallelujah. He loved each and every one, but he loved me. That he gave his only begotten son. I could preach for a whole month just on that. Hallelujah. Because he loved me. Hallelujah. He instituted all of the sacrifices, all of the wanderings of the Israelites in the desert to come to Jesus at Calvary. And then he was resurrected. My hope is alive. Glory to God. If he was still in the tomb, my hope would be dead. But my hope is alive. Your hope is alive because Jesus lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Everybody ought to know.
brethren, the Isle of Patmos was a lonely place. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel lonely, but you are on your own. But God is with you. You're not alone. Sometimes it's when you are on your own, you get new revelation. You get new vision. Hallelujah. It's good to be on your own sometimes. John saw the angel appear to him. Praise God. Revelation 1. And he says, the angel appeared, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of death and hell. Before I take my seat, I want to remind you that Jesus got the keys. Yes. God did not give the government the keys. Not at all. God did not give the government the keys. The church has got the keys. Keys means access. Keys means power. Keys means ownership. Yes. I'm not preaching you now. I'm just telling you. That, uh, praise God. We have got the keys. Praise God. And although we're going through the valley of the shadow of death, eh, don't forget uh, that Jesus is the, is, the, is the lily of the valley. Yes. And young ladies, don't forget that lilies grow in the valley. Praise God. Lilies grow in the valley. So don't be discouraged. Jesus Christ, he says, I am the same yesterday and forever. And forever. Everyone must have their own revelation of Jesus Christ. Isaiah had his revelation. John had his revelation. Peter had his revelation. The one, the son of God. own revelation. Praise God. That when you're going through you can know Jesus for yourself. God bless you. And just before I take my seat just before I take my seat, Jesus knew who he was. Praise God. American Constitution They said be the people. But God's Constitution by the law. Praise God. That's the kingdom's constitution. So I am encourage you today. Be of good courage. Amen. Praise God. Don't get discouraged. Because Jesus is in charge. And Jesus has got the keys. To stand on the promises of God. And when we ask this question. Who is he? In yonder stall. At his feet. We humble fall. I answer the question. Tis the Lord. That king of glory. Tis the Lord. Oh wondrous story. At his feet. We humbly fall. Crown him. Crown him. Lord of all. God bless you. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Back again. Glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. Oh, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Glory, hallelujah. Hey, glory, hallelujah.
Not to stay, he's coming back. Oh, yes, he is coming back. Oh, yes, he is coming back again. We say, Glory, Hallelujah. Yes, he is coming back. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back again. We go, go. Not to stay. Believe it, just come, come, come. Coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back again. He's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Glory, hallelujah! He's coming back again. He's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. He's coming back, he's coming back again. He's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Glory, hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Greetings to my ministers on the platform. 
The topic for this convention is Jesus is. Now I know some may trust in horses. And I know that some may trust in chariots. Daniel saw him as a deliverer. The woman with the issue of blood saw him as a healer. But I can talk for myself. In the pandemic, I could have lost my mind. But I called on the name of Jesus. And I found in him a resting place. I found him to be a holy counselor. I found him to be the Prince of Peace. I found him to be the Rose of Sharon. Jesus is the first and the last. He's the Alpha. He's the Omega. He's the beginning. He is the ending. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's a mighty counselor. Man regulator. Jesus here. This means stop. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. You see, I don't want the music to worship for us. I don't want the music to take up space. They're worshiping with the music, but I command my hands to praise the Lord. It, it seems like we need a, a reteaching of how to praise the Lord. This is how you praise the Lord. When I think of the goodness of Jesus Christ and all he has done for me, it's not the music now. My soul cries out. Ratalaboshaya. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Somebody praise God from the depths of your soul. If you know he woke you up this morning and he set you on your way. I heard somebody said, I feel like praising, praising him. He's my water when I'm thirsty. He's my food when I'm hungry. He's the rose of Sharon. He's the lily of the valley. He's the first and the last. He's the ancient of days. Who is that? Coming from Edom. With thy garments from Bozra. It must be the Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Messiah. Don't let me start praising God in here. Don't let me start lifting up the name of Jesus in here. For the name of the Lord. All right, you can help me now. The name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower. The righteous rush in and are saved. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. My God, in him will I trust. A thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand but they shall not come nigh thee only hey global shandaya I'm not in the fight. I'm not here to fight no battle. If you're warring with me, I'm not warring with you. If you don't like me, that's all right. Because I'm not fighting with you. Only with my eyes shall I see the... Come on, somebody. Somebody praise the name of Jesus in Zion. Somebody praise the name of Jesus in Zion. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Sorry, you might not know why I praise God like this. But I praise him like this because he's worthy to be praised. We just went through two years of pandemic 
praise the name of Jesus where the music wasn't there to pump you up you had to praise God in the midnight hour by yourself when there's no choir there can you say still oh my song will be nearer Nearer, my God, to thee. Do you still have an anointing when the other sister can't pray for you? Do you still have God inside you when nobody can fast with you? When you're all alone, but I'm never alone. For in the valley, he restoreth my soul. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Giving God thanks for being in his house. And thank you for having us. You may be seated in the house of God. Only that I may ask landmark to stand and show ourselves we've come to visit you today this is the members of landmark shiloh apostolic church we greet you in the mighty name of jesus to all the dignitaries we greet you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth you may be seated bishop whiteley was unable to make it because he is in jamaica but he sent us to fellowship with you and glad we are to be here let's keep worshiping god god bless you in jesus name Uh oh. Oh, bless the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Clap your hands and praise God, everybody. Hallelujah. He's my rock, my sword, my shield. He's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He's the lily of the valley. The, the valley and the, the morning star. Oh, and I know what the world is. Oh, I'm gonna lead you right down the way. I'm gonna stand on the word of God until he comes. He's my rock. Oh, Lord, he's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. No matter what the world may say, I know I'm gonna be right down the way. Lord, he is the wheel in the middle of the wheel. Oh, he is the lily of the valley, the bright and holy star. No matter what the world may say, oh, I'm gonna be right down every way. Oh, I'm gonna stand on the word of God to you. Oh, he's a rock, my soul, my sheep, my Lord. He's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and holy star. No matter what the world may say, oh, I'm gonna be right down and pray. I'm gonna stand on the word of God until He comes. For He's my rock, my sword, my shield, my Lord. He is the wheel in the middle of the wheel. I'm gonna be right down and pray. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna stand on the word of God until he comes. Oh, he's my rock, my sword, my shield. My Lord, he is the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He is the lily of the valley, the bright and golden star. Oh, no matter what the world they say, oh, I'm gonna, gonna be right down and pray. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let us receive a convocation greeting, amen, from our Reverend Pierce, coming from the Pentecostal City Mission Church in Alam Rock. Amen. Following her, we'll have a greeting from our minister, Luke Francis, from Bethel Gibson Road, in Jesus' name. Please receive them in that order, amen. Jesus. 
Jesus. Glory, hallelujah to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bringing to you convention greetings, holy convention greetings in the name of Jesus. Greet my dear Bishop, Bishop Ferran, and his lovely wife, and all the ministers on the form, brethren, sisters and brothers, I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Our dear pastor could not be here tonight, but he has sent us in his place, and he sends greetings in the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. I notice that your theme, we have just come out of convention ourselves last week, so we are bubbling over. There is a bubbling over. And I notice your theme said, Jesus is. Jesus is. When I thought about it, I was reminded of when Jesus, hallelujah, when Jesus said, who do men say that I am? He looked at the disciples. The disciples said, some say that you are John the Baptist. Some say you are Elijah. But Jesus said, who do you say that I am? You see, some of us today, when we are asked who we are, we give our titles. We give our status. We give who we think we are. But Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, hallelujah to Jesus. When it was revealed to Peter, he said, who do you say that I am? Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. He said to Peter, flesh and blood did not reveal this unto you. This is the church of the living God and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Church, we are in a warfare. We are in a battle, but we must remember who Jesus is. We must hold on to Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. When Jesus was in the courts of Pontius Pilate, yes. hallelujah. And Pontius Pilate was making accusations to him. The chief priests and elders were making accusations to Jesus. Pontius Pilate said, listen to me, man. These people are saying that you are this and that. Jesus said, thou sayest. He could have called 10,000 angels. But he said, thou sayest. In these times, brethren, let us be mindful who we say we are. Let us be clothed in his righteousness alone. Faultless to stand before his throne. Have a blessed convention in Jesus' name. Let somebody praise the Lord. Oh, okay, okay. If that was for me, then fine. I would have accepted that. But we're talking about who Jesus is. So if you know who Jesus is, why don't you praise him like you know who he is? Oh, come on in here. Praise him like you know who he is. He's not just an any ordinary man. He is God. And God all by himself. Let me give God... Thanks and praise for being in his house to Bishop and Lady Farron, to Bishop and Lady Comrie, to the elders, ministers, pastors and saints in Jesus' name. Let me just say that everybody has pretty much touched on who Jesus is. And even then we haven't touched on half of who Jesus is. So let me just make you aware that in this season that we celebrate called Easter, I want to make somebody aware that Jesus is alive. Oh, okay. If Jesus was dead, then maybe we wouldn't have a reason to shout. If Jesus was dead, maybe we wouldn't have a reason to dance like we dance. But somebody said, up from the grave. All right. 
I don't hear nobody up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph over his foes what did he do he arose a victor from the dark domain and he lives forever with the saints to reign touch somebody and tell him he arose one of the verses said that death cannot keep its prey Jesus my savior he tore the bars away Jesus my lord one thing I love about that scripture is they put somebody in front of the stone to guard it and even then Jesus still rolled the stone what am I trying to tell you whatever dead situation you are in tonight the stone rolls no matter who's standing in front of the stone tonight the stone rolls tonight you become free for who the sun sets free If you know who Jesus is, if you know who Jesus is, ah, yeah, 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 glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, fire, glory, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Watch it in here. Watch it in here. Oh, yanda bahayu, shanda na bahaya. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and just worship him in this building. Just lift your hands. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is in the room tonight. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are standing on holy ground. know it then just stand with me and sing it we on holy ground on holy ground and I know that there are angels Standing, oh, standing in, in His God's presence on holy ground. We are standing.
one more time. We are standing. And I know, and I know, and, and I know that they are angels all around. Worship, 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 worship. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, worship, 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 worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God, standing in his presence. Praise God, praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Amen. We're coming down. We're coming down. Can I ask the Amen, the ushers to get ready. Amen. We're going to worship and giving. Before which, Amen. We are going to have a, a short uh, convocation greeting. Amen. From our Reverend Dr. Clark. Amen. One of the matriarchs of this ministry. Amen. And we're going to hear from her in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive her. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. You can receive it from all angles. Amen. You can receive greetings from all angles, even at the back bench. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me greet the Holy Spirit of God, greeting our worthy Bishop Ferrin, Lady Ferrin, Bishop Comrie, Lady Comrie, all the other ministers, bless God, every member, every visitor, every backslider, it's you while we're here tonight. Amen. We want to catch fish tonight. We've been tiling all day and we catch nothing. 
But Jesus is going to tell you tonight where to cast your net. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. God is the strength and joy and strength of my life. Believe all pain, misery and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. Never, ever come short of these words. I'm going to fast and pray. Stay in the narrow way. Keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I'll never turn back. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, he's not in the tomb. He's not in the grave. Amen. He's not in the wilderness. He's nowhere else but in our heart. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Amen. God is in our heart tonight. Jesus shed his blood. Hallelujah. For our sins. Tonight we are free. If there is anybody in the congregation that is not free, you can make yourself free tonight because Jesus is waiting for you to say yes to the call. Amen? But I want to remind us, those of us who surrender our lives to the Lord. Amen? We are preparing for his return. Glory to God. And we must understand that he prayed for us. And in spite of all the, the work the dragon is trying to do to prevent us on our journey, Jesus prayed for us. Amen. Read the book of St. John chapter 17. And you will see he prayed for us. And he, he said he didn't pray for the world. He didn't pray for everybody. But he prayed for us that we and him might be one. Just like how he and his father is one. Yes. Amen. So he prayed for us. So all we need to do is to trust him. Learn to trust him. Learn to wait upon him. Amen. Praise God. And for anyone in the congregation that haven't tasted and see and experience that God is good. Hallelujah. Those who are saved. Will you shout out tonight that God is good? God is good. Hallelujah. Say it again. God is good. Hallelujah. Praise God. And as I am a whole time school girl, <laughs> praise the Lord. 
I am inviting anyone who has not yet accepted Christ in your life. Tonight is your night. Amen. Tonight is your night. Yes. And I want you to take your right hand, put it on your chest, and say it, tonight is my night. And if you believe it, it will happen. Come on, if you believe it, it will happen. Praise the name of the Lord. But tonight I am so glad that I am a part of the family of God. And we are praying and we know God is going to answer our prayer. Amen. It's a spiritual warfare we are fighting. But we are victorious. We are more than conquerors through Christ that loves us. Amen. And because we know he prayed for us, we don't have to fret ourselves. In Jesus' name, I love you. Amen. Continue to worship God and give him all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands and praise God. Come on, do it better than that. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Amen. Wonderful. We're coming down. Amen. Gonna ask our ushers to get ready. Amen. Minister Jordan, if he can just put two chairs at the front for me. Amen. This is our 64th Holy Convocation. Amen. And because of a uh, global pandemic, we have been unable to meet annually for the past couple of years. The last time we met was in 2019. But the Lord has allowed us that we can come together. It's a bit shorter than usual, but the Lord has allowed us to come together in another convocation. And we as a church, as an organization, as a family, we are blessed um, with a great leader. We are blessed with one of the greatest bishops in the world. And he, he may be the presiding bishop for the International Firstborn Church, but let me tell you something, he's a bishop for the world. He doesn't have to know you to pray for you. I have witnessed this many of times. He may not know the person that may have passed away, but because he knows a relative or a family, he will travel as far as Jamaica to support in the funeral. A praying man, a hardworking man, a man of the word, a man that will always give you counsel and a little bit of joke at the same time. We are blessed to have Bishop Ferrin as our presiding bishop. Come on, we are blessed. And listen, we are not going to wait until the breath leaves his body for us to appreciate him. But we appreciate him now. We let him see it. And let him know it that we love him. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Good leadership is not everywhere. But this is a man of integrity. And we appreciate him. And we appreciate Mother Ferron. that releases him to do what he does. And while we are appreciating her, we appreciate his children, those that are in the house, the daughters, the grandchildren, we appreciate them. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm going to ask him to come. Amen, Minister River, just to, Minister Jordan, just escort him. Amen. Down. Amen. And Evangelist Camilla just escort our mother, Ferran. This is a time in our, our convocation where we get to appreciate him. Amen. We just get to appreciate him. Love on him a little bit, all right? And we're going to ask you 
Amen. The ushers are going to come. Amen. And they're going to stand either side. I'm going to ask you to come. The ushers will direct you section by section. Amen. And we're going to be a blessing to the man of God. Amen. We are going to be a blessing to the man and woman of God. They deserve it, don't they? They deserve it, don't they? Amen. So I'm going to ask the ushers to come. And this is your opportunity. You get to greet them. Amen. In the name of the Lord. And let's move very quickly because the word is coming. A short word is coming before we close. Amen. It's going to ask the ushers to come. If you want to use an envelope, you can do so. Amen. If you want to give by card or contactless. Amen. Then please see our sister JDL. She is at the rear of the building. Amen. So please obey the ushers as they will direct you row by row, section by section. God bless you. Let's move quickly. Amen. What a friend, what a precious friend, so complete and so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other. What a friend, what a precious friend, so complete and so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other. The Lord. What a friend, what a precious friend, so complete, so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, what a precious friend, so complete, so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, what a precious friend, so complete, so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, what a precious friend, so complete, so divine. And if you walk the whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, what a precious friend, so complete and so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, what a precious friend, so complete, so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, so complete, so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, what a precious friend. So complete, so divine. And if you walk all over, so complete, so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can Who want a friend? Who want a beautiful friend? So complete and so divine. And if you walk the whole world over, there's no other you can find. Oh, what a friend, what a beautiful friend. So complete and so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, To you, Jerusalem, we press along, press along in 
God give a last week when I die your victories won I can live as if you say oh, and talk to me that you don't feel me the way oh yes who are that you talk who that talk to you oh press a lot press a lot God give a last way when I die. Which is what I can hear my Savior say, Walk and talk over in the dew. Oh, walk and talk over in the dew. Walk and talk over in the dew. Walk and talk over in the dew. Walk and talk God is a lovely way When I die With this one I shall live As if you see you all And talk Oh, it's not you To live in me Oh, you are And talk It's not you Jerusalem way Press along Press along In God's the last day when I die, it is one. I am here as if you see the old and talk over the new. And this is the way we've been playing for four a night. Joy cometh in the morning. We've been playing for a night. Joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah, oh, the joy. Hallelujah, oh, oh, the joy. Hallelujah, oh, oh, the joy. Joy cometh in the morning. We've been playing for a night. in the morning. Hallelujah, hope for the joy. Hallelujah, hope for the joy. Oh Lord, 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 Come and the morning. Hallelujah, hope for the joy. Hallelujah, hope for the joy. Hallelujah, hope for the joy. Lord, come and the morning. You've been making the joy for the night. Lord, come and the morning. You've been the joy joy.
hands and praise the Lord everybody come on clap your hands and praise the Lord amen and ask the ministers to come amen other ministers other ministers please join us amen we are gonna take our bishop and our mother Ferret to the throne of grace. I have a savior, he's pleading in glory. A dear loving savior, though earth friends be few. And now he is watching in tenderness so me and oh that my savior is your savior too for you i am praying for you i am praying Ask the church to stand, everyone to stand. For you, I am praying for you. Sister Maxine, I am praying. Sister Diane, for you. Sister Millie, I am praying. Come and we'll go cover you all. I'm praying for you. For you, I am praying for you, I am praying for you, I am praying, I am praying for you. As the ministers pray. I would just want the congregation to stretch your hands as we pray. You pray also in the name of Jesus. As we pray for long life, strength in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 
we thank you. We honor you and we glorify you. Almighty God, we come before your presence this very hour. Father God, to present your servant before your presence. Father God, we thank you today, Lord God, for their lives, Lord God, and the vessels that you have choose to use. Father God, today we pray and ask for your guidance and direction. Father God, we pray your mighty hand will remain upon them and that you shall guide and direct them. Father God, you said even in their old age, they shall bring forth fruit. Father God, we pray today, Lord God, that you will continue to anoint them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Father God, we cover them under your blood right now. In the name of Jesus, we ask your protection. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we pray for spiritual strength. Lord God, and temporal strength in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray that everything they put their hand to concerning you, they shall achieve and they shall continue to accomplish. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you will tie them to the vine, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we are praying that your will will be done and your name will be glorified, Heavenly Father. We pray for long life and strength, Lord God. We pray that you will continue to guide and direct his footsteps. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that you are strengthening. Lord God, that your will will continue to be done, Lord God. Cover him right now, Father. Cover Mother Ferran right now, Lord God. Continue to be their guide. Continue to be their protector. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, that your will will be continue to be done, Lord God. Lord God, as they continue to live to be an example, Lord God. I pray today, Lord God, the beacon will continue to be burning in their lives. Father God, right now we present them before you. Father God, we pray, Lord God, that you will cover them. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we counsel out every form of sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, Father God, we pray your blessings and direction. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, cover them. Cover the ministry. Cover their family, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, build an edge of protection around them. Father God, as we tell you, thanks for your goodness and your mercy. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I am praying. I'm praying for you. Oh Lord, for you. I am praying for you. I am praying. I'm praying for you. Oh, for you.
I'll never, never turn back. God is. God is. Strength of my life, he removes all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He'll never ever fall short on this word. I'm gonna fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. He keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I'll never turn back. God is. Hold on, God is. God is. God is. God is. God is. Coming, but that's a sick is one minute. Oh, God is the joy and the strength of my life. He removes all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He'll never ever fall short of his words. I'm going to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. Keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I'll never turn back. God is. Oh Lord. Oh God is. Oh Lord. Oh God is. Oh God is. Oh God is. Oh God is. To keep me, he'll never, never fall on his word. I'm gonna pass the grace to the power in my life. In my life, oh, I want to go with him when he comes. I'm too far, I'm never turn back. Strength of my life, he removes all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. You'll never ever fall short of his word. I'm gonna pass the pray, say in the narrow way. I see my life, feel every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far, and I never turn back. My Lord Oh, 
me. Never to leave me. Never ever. I'm going to the now. Keep my life. I want to go with him. I've come too far. But I'll never. God is. I want to go with him. I've come too far.
Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Tonight I want to give honor to the Spirit of the Lord. Greetings to Bishop Farron, Mother Farron, to all the ministers, Pastor Andre, and all the saints, to our Bishop Comrie and our Sister Comrie, to all saints of God, ministers, visiting friends. I greet you tonight in the precious name of the Lord. To my pastor, Pastor Morgan, in Jesus' name. Amen. It's so good to be in God's house. It's so good to be in God's house. It's been a long time on this formation. We've been coming for funerals and so forth, but it's nice to be back in the house where we just did our praise. And just to worship and to glorify his name. I want to thank God for saving me one day. And I bless his holy name. The anointing that comes from God is from God. And so we are all blessed because we call him our father. And once we call him our father, we belong to the children of God. We have one father, one Lord. Oh my gosh, my gosh. So God is good. And tonight we are coming down to the end of our convention as God has blessed us and reminds us of old times. Oh, hallelujah. Remember those days when we used to go nine days? <laughs> then we went to seven days. Then, because mm, you didn't have to get up anyway. Then we went right down to five, I believe. And through this condition, we went to three. And then now through this convention, to this condition, way to two, but you know what? God's name is everlasting. Amen. Amen. And those situations must change. God never changes. But when we come into his house to praise his name, he is there. Because once one and two, and we know that we're more than a number, but once one and two come together and we touch anything concerning concerning not my business, not your business, but concerning, concerning his name. He is right here in the midst of blessing. God has blessed us. Our theme is God is. And I was saying, Lord, what can I say? Because, you know, he has done such great things. But as I was sitting there, the Lord just reminded me of certain things. And in Matthew 21, I will read from verse 12. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. Verse 14, and the blind and the lame came to him in the temple mm. and he healed them bless the name of the Lord God is awesome and we know Jesus had entered into Jerusalem and as Jesus was a Jew and one of his first thing to do was present himself to the synagogue at the temple and present himself before the elders. But we know that Jesus is our high priest. Yes. <laughs> so he has authority over the temple. Over the priest that was in situ. He was the great high priest. And he came to the place, Bishop, where he was to minister. Mm. But
But when he came even out in the forecourt, he hasn't even gone inside yet. But in the forecourt, he saw the, the lame and he saw the sick. And he saw the uh, poor being mistreated because they couldn't afford uh, the money to buy the sacrifice. They were being treated bad. So when he went into the temple, his heart, his spirit, his mind, you think God doesn't get angry and mad? Ask Noah what happened when God got mad. Ask the people that we can't do of Sodom and Gomorrah when God got, mm, got mad. We think we have the right to be mad when people tell us something. But my God tells me that if I don't surrender to him, I am going to go to hell because there's a place prepared for those who will not accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Those who will not repent, there is that punishment awaiting. God gets mad because in his wrath he made this. Mm, that if you do not surrender to him, there is a place prepared. So he came to the temple and he saw them making their money. Extortionate prices. For the turtle doves that the poor should just be able to give so and accept it. Never mind about those who are buying the lambs and the goats and all of that. But the poor was meant to have it easily. That's why God gets mad when we mistreat. Because when we come to the table of the Lord, he said you must remember the poor. They have a special place in his heart. Because when you can't heal, when you're sick, when you're in trouble, you can't lift up your hand, you can't praise him because you feel bad. Mm. Bless the name of the Lord. And so he threw them out of the temple. Then he said this condemnation unto them. It is written... And God knows the word. Jesus knows the word. My house shall be called a house of prayer. Mm. But ye have made it. So when people want to make money, they turn any place into a place where they can make money. Because we are stupid enough. That's all we're going to do is praise God. So we carry our money. That's so what we said. If you want to come through the door, you must pay so and so. So before we even come to the house, we start fret, worry, how much money they're going to cost us this week. Before I can even come in. That's why the woman with the issue of blood, she was on the street. She has spent all her money going to everybody please heal me I have this condition 12 long years but there was the man passing by who knew what it was like because when he was in the creation ah, they said let us make man and when he fell when Adam fell there was a curse unto the woman that in childbirth it shall be difficult. And we know, ladies, the problems of the inner, inner, inner. When we're young and healthy, everything is good. We pass that thing, go, and it don't bother us. But when we come to a certain age, brother... Brothers, when we come to a certain age in our life, the women, that curse starts to take effect. Hallelujah. 
So when those five boys kick in, when the menstruation gets heavy, and you say, why are you in your bed? Because I can't get up. Because God said, I have to lay down in my bed for how many days? And then when it passes, I can rise up and minister to you. That's why God loves us. Mary, though art highly faith. <laughs> so when Jesus was passing by, she knew she couldn't touch him. She couldn't even call to him. Because she was unclean. Unclean. So can you imagine this poor woman needing a little help? Trying to come to the temple. To get into the temple. Where they should pray for her. She couldn't even come. Oh my God. She couldn't even come in. Because she was unclean. But here was the high priest. Here was the healer. Here was the one who knows. Our downright setting. And our getting up. He knows the inner workings. He knew how long she's been in trouble. If only, if only, if only, ah, the trunk push her back. It was most because some of them know because she's from that community. And when somebody know your business, they don't. When they know your business, you is at the back. But she said, if I could just touch, touch, my God. And the great high priest, when she finally, you see on his garments be stuff like this. And she didn't even have to grab it. Touch. Touch. And she touched it. And immediately he felt her. Because something leave him. His care and his love. He knew what was happening. Jesus was aware. So he knows all about me. He knows when you're in trouble. So when you call upon him. He will hear. Immediately. Hallelujah. Virtue. No. Somebody. Somebody. Master, how can you be saying that when you're surrounded? The throng is big. But Jesus says, somebody. Hallelujah. Because virtue, Jesus knows. Jesus is, he's my deliverer. He's my healer. He knows my name. He knows where you're coming from. He knows the journey you have been. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody touch me. I am reminded that the house of prayer is the place where you come to get healing. You come to hear the word. You come to be blessed. You come to be uplifted. You come for deliverance. Because in the world, you can't find no peace. So when you come into the house, there must be peace. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So she, I am reminded that, and even in this pandemic, we understand that the place and the world was getting dirty. You remember, well, I remember in the young days, when you go to a hospital, you see about 20 cleaners cleaning the floor, and most of them was like us. 
cleaning the floor, messing up, cleaning up everywhere. Then the bishop, they get and say, well, you know, over the years, it costs too much money. So they start to cut down. When we would clean up the blood, before a next patient come in, because they cut it down, oh, the theater still have a little bit of blood. The people walk in in dog's mess on the outside. And they come into the hospital and they bring it in on their shoe. And the cleaner is gone. Then they start to say there is this sort of MRS. Get, get. No, no, no. The, the, the disease thing. That has problem. And through that, it gets more. I'm not going to develop and deal from there. But the point is, when you go to the hospital, you are expecting that you are in a sterile, clean, safe environment. Where somebody who knows your problem will be able to diagnose it and give you the right treatment. And they will give it with the expectation that you are in the best place. Can I tell you the hospital is the best place? Especially if you're having a heart attack. Let's tell you if you have a broken limb and it's an open. Oh my God. The hospital is the best place. But when the cleaning situation and when everything wasn't in place. They say quickly cover up the, the open wound. Take them quick, don't keep them in the emergency area. They have to go straight to the best place, which was, and the cleanest and sterile place was the operating room. Because if you leave them in the common area, the infection that's floating in the atmosphere. Find the warm blood and seep in. But my God tells me that the house of God is a house of prayer. So when Jesus came in, it was not a safe environment. It was not a good environment that produced peace. It was not a good environment that produced harmony. It was not a place that produced the goodness of God. They didn't call God first. They called for, you we want 20 shekels or whatever it is first. Can you afford it? No, well, you best go and borrow. So when Jesus went in, and he saw the lame and the sick. He saw those that needed healing. But those that were supposed to provide the healing was in disarray. Disharmony. God's word is amen. But Jesus cleaned up the situation. He cleaned it up. He threw out the money changers. I remember when Paul was walking to and talking about Jesus. And he was doing such a good job that the people stopped going to the soothsayers. Stop paying their money to listen to the tower card. Stop listening to having somebody tell them their fortune. Because now they know it is free. That Jesus is going to tell them that it's going to be all right. That they can make it. That they're going to live long. Or they must set their house in order. Oh, hallelujah. Hezekiah, when he thought he was all right, God came to him. Set your house in order. For you shall surely die. As long as God tells us we're going to live long, we're good. But the moment God tells us something else, 
we start to panic. But Hezekiah turned himself to the wall because he knew who God was. He knew his God. He knew God will answer. And God added to him. But when Jesus came to the temple, the place where there should be safety, there was warring. Hmm. There was all sorts of problem happening. The friendship that has been built up over the years has broken down. Because you had the friendship before you were, they were able to buy the goat. But this time come because they fell on hard times. They said to the merchant, well, you know, I really can't afford this goat. Can you let me have? But we've been friends for a long time. Friendship gone. No house of prayer. They're not reading the scriptures. As they read the scripture, why are you reading the thing on me? Just because you know my story, you know my business. Yes. Because God is. God knows us. We don't really know God, but God, Jesus knows us. He made us. He put his love within us, so he must know when that love starts to ebb. He knows it. He knows it. So when there's trouble, Jesus knows it. And if you tell me that Jesus doesn't know how to pick up broom, he pick up the table and he threw it out. Because it's dirty. It's unclean. Should not be in the house. When God does it, thing, we get mad and upset because we his flesh. But when God does it, he then, Jesus then said, when the, he, those who are outside needed healing, they saw what Jesus had done. So now they know they don't have to pay. <laughs> so they ran to the table temple and they went inside and Jesus said be thou healed see walk feel taste be at peace your husband and wife thing is happening problems heal when the house is clean Healing is going to take place. When the hospital is clean, because you know what they have to do through the pandemic, they put us all on face masks. They tell us don't come near the hospital. They say don't visit your friend. Don't visit your family. Stay away. Because we need to put some things in our place. They stop the, the, the transportation. They put, up sanit <laughs> they put up sanitizing thing everywhere. Yes. Don't touch one another. Do you elbow thing? Yes. Don't touch. But when Jesus comes in, <laughs> when Jesus comes in, he is the perfect sanitizer. There is no questioning of his method. But if I tell you, Sister Tracy, no, you get mad with me. But when Jesus tell you, no, what you going to say? You may get mad with him, but you can always go to God in prayer. And he will hear. He will answer. I may take a little bit longer. God is our all in all. God is our healer. God is our protector. God is our defender. He is our peace. He is our joy. He helps us to bear long suffering. 
Oh, hallelujah. He helps us to be patient. He helps us to be kind. He helps us to be loving. Because he is love. Because in with the creation, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Trinity was in harmony. Let us. How many times you come into the house and you say, can we? Not let us. And even if you say let us, some will Hmm, you mean me? You want me, me to do it? And you'll wait, as they say, a month or Sundays, and it will never be done. We want everything to be in place. And that's what God wants for us. But first of all, we have to understand ourselves in God. And once we know Jesus for ourselves, once we know who he is, he is our sacrifice. He is the one that when he passed through, we touch him because we transfer spiritually our sins to him. He is the perfect sacrifice. The ultimate sacrifice. Hallelujah. There is none like him. None beside him. And there is none can do it like him. Nobody can do me like Jesus. And nobody knows me like Jesus. I will tell you some stuff that nobody else knows. But at the end of the day, I'm keeping something back. You know what the world said? We put up a barrier. And they try very hard to break down the barrier. And they show you little kindness. And they show you little this. And they give you little that. And slowly and surely you lower it a little bit. But you know what? Because of past experiences, you don't lower it fully. You keep it up there still. As soon as somebody has touched your can, bush. Gone back up. But Jesus came to the temple. The place where there should be healing. And found none. The place where the word should be going through. And found it difficult. Only for the elite. But in the house of God, we are all one. We call the one name. We serve the one God. So you and I, some talk about title. Yes, we may have a title. But you know what? We are serving the one God. He's not the God of the, the pastor. So this God is a bigger God. He is not a God of the bishop, so his God is way bigger than mine. And if I put myself down there, little old me, I have a little old God. We are serving. We are serving the one God. And that one God moves upon me. It moves upon you. It moves over there. It moves over here. It moves in the musicians. It moves there because when we call the name of Jesus, he says, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he is Lord. He is Alpha, the beginning. He is Omega, the end. He is my all in all. I am glad that Jesus saved me one day. When I was in distress, he came along my journey and he shined a light and said, Why sit here in darkness? Rise up, rise up and walk, rise up and be in newness of life. Hallelujah. 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 Someone said nothing can be done 
unless they agree. The government, throughout the pandemic, they showed you the prime minister, the health person, the, the security person, the this person, and they show you the stats about every day, how much and how much. But unless there was agreement <laughs> in this thing, you and I would not be here today. Oh, hallelujah. But because there was some agreement, because we know what the world is like, because yes. we're not silly, God may call us sometimes little ignorant, but we are so glad now that there's people coming from the universities. Some coming from the primary. Some coming from the college. The, 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 your parents have taught you you must read and learn and have understanding. And the scriptures have gotten more and more theological so we understand it. Those who are studying it must know the A's and B. I am doing a little bit of Greek at the moment. So it's Epsilon is for E. It starts with Alpha, which is our A. It starts with, then it's Beta, which is our B. Then it's Gamma, it's not D, it's Gamma. And D, Delta, comes after Gamma. But for al alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right. So when we learn the words of God and we understand it and we bring it under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, it must register a peace. It must register a joy. It must register a unity. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I and my father are one. God moved in such a wonderful way just now. I saw the family hug him. And I said, Lord, bind them together. Because families, that's how family, family fight. I have family. I have six brothers. I said to one of my brothers at one of our reunions, I said, you don't even call me to see how I do. Knowing that I live with my mom for the whole of my life. She's gone and you don't even call me. You know what he said, brethren? I know. <laughs> Meaning he will do better. And I'm still waiting for the phone call, but it's me have to call him because I know better. You know better than your family in terms of this because you are the child of God. So when you know better, do better. In the house of God, we are family, brothers and sisters. So yes, we will fall out because we have not come to perfection yet. But you know what somebody said, don't let the sun... We're so quick to tell somebody who's getting married. Don't let the sun come between you. Don't, don't, when you get argument, make sure you start it up before you go to bed. But your brother down the road, you don't even speak to them for how many years? But you want to stand up in a, a wedding ceremony? Then call you to say something, and you say, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Make sure you make it up. But your mom, your mom, who went through nine months or whatever it was she did, and you don't even pay her mind much. Now and again, you feel bad, and you go around and say, mommy, how you doing? And you may even send her a message. And poor mommy don't even know how to operate the phone. God is our healer. And the healing comes to bring everything back in place. Back in harmony. Back in order. Back in place. 
Because when I come through the door, I must feel something. And that something must be good. When the cinnamon comes through the door, of whatever assembly it is, they're expecting to feel good. Because they can feel bad out there all the time. But when they come through the door, they must feel good. And they will see your good works. And let to glorify their father. The healing must take place, brethren, in order for things to get better. The hospitals are trying to get back in order. But you know what they have to do? I, I'm not putting all this all down then because it's not, this is not, this thing is pandemic, it's worldwide. But in terms of us going to the hospital, we may have some stuff and we don't even want to go near there. No, they're begging us to come there. But you want to know when you go to the hospital that it's a safe environment. So the house of God. We want to know that when we come, it's not toxic. It's not making my soul worse. It's not making my heart more difficult. I can't breathe. It's not making the lungs more clotted up with debris. I can breathe clearly. It's not pollinated by pollen and dust mite and so forth. Ooh. I can breathe because God is in this house. God is a healer. The word come to set me free. So when I am in trouble, I'm coming to the best place. And as we know, saints of God, where is the best place? The house of God. Some don't even say it yet. The best place for a child of God the best place for a child of God. The best place. All right, let me say it this way. What is the best place or where is the best place for a child of God? Where is the best place for a child of God? Where is the best place for a child of God? Yeah, it's a little better. Because we're not silly. We are not silly. But you know what this is? You know what this is? Jesus is not walking up and down out the street so that we can go and touch him and say, Master, heal me. We sanctify it. We bless it. We consecrated it. We made the prayer, God, anyone that comes through the door, shall be healed, shall receive their deliverance, shall be touched, shall be saved. This is a good place. It's a marvelous place. It's a wonderful place. But as Jesus told those who had messed up the temple, you have turned it into a den of thieves. One last thing that I'm going to hand back. I was watching a film not so long ago, and I think it's called Den of Thieves. And it started innocuously enough. And there was a gang who goes around stealing bank from banks, and they know how to do it. Then somebody said, we need a new driver. And the driver came, and he was driving, and the leader said, is this what you call driving? And he put down a speed, you see, that he had to hold on. In the end, so what it transpires now is that this driver who get beat up by the police, who co-host him to give up information, but the scene at the end, he was playing them all. This Young man who nobody thought was worth anything. He was just the driver. But in the end, as I watched, all the gang members died. 
the police had him in the van, hooked up with handcuffs, and left all the money in the van. When they went and found and killed off all the gang, you know it, right? And they came back, and they're talking, oh, well, we have how much million? When they look, he took a fright because he's looking for the money, no money bags. He looked for the prisoner, empty handcuffs. <laughs> At the end of the film, the driver, you recognize him, he's in the bar in London this time. And he had a saying, loose lips, sink ships. And he would take up a position as a bar person in a very predominant area. So you'll find that all the bank people <laughs> would go to the bar, get enough drink, loose the lips, tell him all the secrets, the codes, when they're changing the guards and everything. And he brought the idea to the gang in the first place. But the gay that said, listen, I am not taking, this is going to be me. It's not you. I'm leading it. And he said, I'm. So when you look in London, he is in another bar. I know where the bar is. Uh, where, the, where the Bank of England is, Treadnedle Street, the city area. So you know what? More bankers are coming in, telling him little bits of secrets because their lips are loose. When God comes in, the Bible tells me that he would not be comely that you will desire him. <laughs> You're going to look at him and think of nothing. Someone says, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? <laughs> My God, he's nothing. But today we recognize him as Jesus Christ, our Lord, who has my back. He has your back. He gives you support. He gives you healing. He gives you deliverance. He gives you joy. He gives you peace. He gives you harmony in your house. Harmony at work. Everywhere when people are trying to put you down, he just exalts you a little bit higher. Because he is God. Because you trust in him. You trust in God. And once you trust in God, he will be there for you. He will stand up for us. For Stephen thought, you know what? It don't matter. Paul said, I'm going to kill this thing straight away. I'm going to mess it up, stop it from going any further. Stephen, the deacon. <laughs> But one thing with Stephen, he was full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Stephen looked and said, stone me. Because I see Jesus. Yeah. Standing up for me. Yeah. That's the confidence he had. We need to have that confidence in Jesus. Know who Jesus is to you. When you know Jesus is to you, you will know Jesus who it is to your friend. He will know Jesus who you is for your neighbor. Who is my neighbor? The one sitting next to me. God is good. God is awesome. God is wonderful. He is our all in all. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the bright and morning star. 
He is our fellowship. He is our joy. He is our peace. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is everything. Ah, uh, in my valley, He is there. On the mountain top, He is there. Way out in the sea, He is there. Wherever I am, my Jesus is there. He is there to deliver. He's there to set me. He will hold me. He will keep me. He will make me strong. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands for the word. Clap your hands for the word. Jesus is. Amen. Amen. We're closing. We're closing. Before we do that, I want to thank each and every one for coming, your support. Amen. The Pentecostal City Mission, Shiloh Landmark. Amen. Shiloh Lodge Road. Representatives from the Church of God of Prophecy. New Testament Church of God, amen. Wherever you are from, amen. Triumphant Church of God, amen. Bethel, Gibson Road, Bethel, Hall Green, God bless you, amen. Thank you all for coming and making, amen, this convocation a great success, amen. Our bishop is coming, amen, with the final benediction. But before we do that, we must open the altar, amen. For anyone that needs prayer, we're going to ask you to come. No matter the time, we must never close a worship service without giving the opportunity for somebody to come to know the Lord. Amen. Is there one today that will come to this altar for prayer? Whatever the situation, whatever the need, you can come. Amen. You can come. Is there one? Is there one? I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about his groaning Of his precious blood atoning then I repented of my sin and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, thy Savior forever. Oh, he sought me and he brought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me. If I knew him, oh, I know by his love is true. Oh, he touched me to victory in Jesus. Let me die. I heard about his feeling. God is destined by revealing how he made the lame to walk again. The blind to see, and then I cry, Did Jesus come and heal my broken spirit? Then somehow Jesus came and brought to me the victory. Verse 3 I heard about a mansion we are built for being. And I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing and the old redemption story. And some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory.
Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
God bless you. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands and praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't help but get excited when you're talking about Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. For the brethren here, amen, at this um, Birmingham location, there will be no meetings this week. Okay, there will be no meetings this week. All right, so pray at home. All right, and we will... Sunday, we are here. Um, first Sunday of May. Okay, first Sunday of May. God bless you all. Thank you. Please receive our presiding bishop. Amen. With the final benediction for this convocation in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to give God thanks for everyone who come and made this convention be a wonderful success. We want to thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, God will continue to bless you. And now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain, abide with us. Both now and forevermore. God bless you in Jesus' name. Please use all exits available. You don't need to go through one door. Please.